How's it going, everybody? Hope you're all doing well. So it's that time of the year again is I do an EDC update just to show you what have I changed, what stayed the same, uh, give you some topics, some things to think about maybe, hopefully I can pass on some information, but this is what I carry on me for off-duty wise. So me not at work performing my job, this is me every single day. Now there is a lot to go over here, probably a lot more than most people are used to carrying. And some people will be like, ah, oh, definitely I would never carry that much. That's fine. This is just to give you ideas. This really works for me, all these items. So I, I found that they work really well. And if they didn't work, honestly, I would pitch stuff because there is a lot here. So let's push straight into it. So first off, we're gonna talk about the belt. So this is a Wazoo cash belt. I've been running this for probably about two years almost three actually, really enjoy it. The part about it is you can place things inside of it all the way down the belt. So like extra items, maybe a lighter handcuff key, um, water purification tabs, like whatever you wanna put in it, you can. I put extra cash, you know, a little bit of gold, what, whatever you want to do. Um, it's really handy, really nice. Um, not as rigid as I would like it, but it still works pretty well in the concealed carry base aspect. So next, moving on to kind of medical that kind of goes along with the belt is a soft T wide tourniquet. So this is properly wrapped up. I have it already pre-staged with the rubber band. So all you gotta do is rip off the rubber bands really quickly, which you can do one-handed if you need to, and it'll immediately kind of expand out, slip it over whatever you need to, and you can pull it tight. So I have, some of the Velcro that is meant for electronics, like to kind of wrap up your cables and stuff. I actually put that around this and how I carry it because a lot of these items have specific spots. And if you start to build up items, it's hard to find where to place these. This actually goes on my belt. I just feed my belt specifically through it and it'll ride normally on the back right hand side um, up out of the way. I don't even notice it's there but it's nice to have because if I'm wearing jeans, I don't have cargo pockets. So I don't really have a good place to put this, especially when I'm having other items on me that are kind of necessary, at least for me. So um, I prefer the soft tee wide because it's very thin. Um, it's not like the cat. I do like the cat tourniquet works great, but it's very bulky. So I went to specifically this. Moving on to the flashlight, which has not changed, but it is the Streamlight. ProTac 1L1AA. And just a brief highlight, I have a whole video on this. I'll probably put in the description box below if you want to know the details. But the cool thing about this light is it runs six different battery types. Yes, so six different cells you can put in this flashlight and it'll run. So with that being AA, AAA, and CR123. So I named three, but if you get the rechargeables for it, you can also do those six. And that's what I do. I run rechargeables in my battery as of about two and a half years ago, saves money a lot because I use my lights quite a bit. And actually this one just died. So I gotta go swap it out. Good thing I did this. It was just working today actually. But anyways, rechargeable batteries, like right now, I'll go grab another battery, just go in, didn't cost me anything in the long run, it doesn't cost you anything. So moving on to a multi-tool. I carry a multi-tool mainly because I use it all the time. Some people don't, they're like, ah, that's too heavy and whatnot. But for the tasks and things that I do, honestly, I use a lot of stuff on it. Probably the least thing that I do not use is the saw or the serrated blade. Personally, don't really use that too much, but a lot of the other items, of course, the pliers, you know, and all the other items, the scissors on here are definitely come in handy. This is a Leatherman Wave. This is the first gen. It does not have the replaceable jaws in it. So I also run it in a leather sheath on the back left side of me, and it's pretty well beat. So you can kind of see I actually do carry this thing and use it every single day. So it's definitely getting its uh, work or worth out of it. Next is the Ridge Wallet. Um, I've been using this for years, and this is the same exact one. I have it really abused. You can just see how 
abused and used this is. There's screws missing in it and it just works. I haven't really found a replacement that's better at this point in time. I'm always kind of on the market or looking for things. But as of right now, I will probably run this Ridge wallet until it like completely just snaps or just destroys itself somehow because I'm really impressed by it. It's held up very well. Pretty thick. I have to carry a lot of cards on me, but it works out very well. Also, if you see tape on everything, mainly it's because I inscribe my name with a Dremel tool on all my tools and all my items. Mainly, in case you steal it from me, at least kind of an aha is I put my name on it. So forever, you will be reminded that you stole my tool. Now, I probably will never get it back in the off chance of, oh, I know who that person is. I can go give this back. Maybe that'll happen. But mainly it's just to haunt you. And every time you use it, you're like, ah, I stole that tool from somebody. So that's what I use them for. So next I run a orange right in the rain pen with a clip and it is specifically orange. So I do not lose it because I have lost so many black pens because if you just pull it out of your uh, pocket and a black pen drops on the ground, it is gone. It just disappears into a dark void in a dark room or a lit, ditly, uh, dimly lit room or grass or late night in a parking lot, a black pen is gone. If you go with an orange pen, it drops, you're like, that's orange, I can see it. So that's what I run with. Specifically, Bic lighter as well. I really like carrying one of these around me, uh, around with me. I don't smoke, but it is nice to have, especially in the environment of where I'm at. Um, considering I'm very northern, um, United States and it gets very cold. We're talking like negative 50 is what we recently saw like about a month and a half, two months ago. So it's nice when I'm going into specific locations, for example, and I'm using my keys to get into a lock and the lock has been frozen for weeks and weeks without anybody touching it. And it's like negative 30, negative 40. And I try to heat up the lock with this to get my keys to work. Helps out actually quite a bit. Next, moving on to the specific blade is the Osborne 940 by Benchmade. Now I know Benchmade's had their kind of negatives and I've done a video on it and whatnot and I, I try not to give too much funds to them, but this one, I've never had a 940 and I've heard so much hype about it. This was the year I decided to try it and I'm glad that I did. I really enjoy this. This knife replaced the bunch, uh, the Benchmade bug out. Actually, I really enjoyed the bug out. The bug out was awesome, super lightweight, but this specific knife, I don't know, like just the handling, the specific tip on it. I'm not too sure. Um, still running it, ran it a couple months now. And I really like this, the access lock well worth the money, especially if you can find them on sale. Next specific keys, nothing too fancy except for I have a quick disconnect in between. So if you're getting an oil change, say I don't have the time to do it myself or my car is in the shop, I can give my keys to them, but still retain all my really important stuff keys like you know gun safes, uh, containers, uh, trailers, my house keys, stuff like that. So they actually don't get a hold of them. So helps out quite a bit. Um, I really enjoy it, works out pretty well. Moving on to actually uh, sidearm itself. Um, this is running in a T-Rex arm sidecar. Really enjoy this holster. Really works out very well. Use it for my Glock 19, which I carried for, I don't know, close to a decade now. And I swapped out to the SIG 320 or the M18 variant with the manual safety. This is specifically what I use in my on-duty job in the military, the same exact pistol. Granted, my or the on-duty one does not have the light but this is the same exact, mainly for training purposes. I can move them back and forth. I want the same exact pistol when I go to draw on duty and off duty. It is the exact same feel, same safety, same manipulation, same everything. So it's, it helps in training aspect, but I run a light specifically on it, um, mainly because things like to go bad at night. Um, and it's especially a nice use of force tool because normally people don't want to fight what they can't see. So if you immediately start being aggressive or loud towards them as they are blind, 
and say, get on the ground, drop the weapon, drop the weapon, drop the knife, whatever's going on, you're giving them commands to stop. Sorry if I bumped the mic. Um, commands to stop. Most people don't want to fight if they can't see. So I run 17 round mag plus one in the pistol. And then recently I've been running around the uh, extended mag in appendix rig. I'm uh, just trying it out, honestly. I, I want to see it rides up front. I, my body type allows me to carry appendix. It is difficult for some people. Some people say it's super dangerous. And I would say any time you carry a firearm is going to be dangerous. It's how you train and what your mindset is behind it. Granted, there's better ways to do it than others. But this is the way that I've trained heavily and I'm fairly confident with it. So this was my EDC for this specific year. Um, not, uh, not too much has changed, but there's been some updates. Hopefully I gave you some ideas. Even if you, I know, don't want to carry all this stuff, that's fine. You've got to adapt what you want to carry. And that's perfectly fine if it's literally just maybe your car keys and a, uh, a pen. You know, that could be fine. But if it works for you, it works for you. So just trying to give you some ideas. Also, I mean, I carry a cell phone with me, but I'm currently um, filming with it at the moment. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you want to support this channel, definitely there's uh, Patreon and PayPal if you want to. I'm not here to get rich. It's just an option. If you don't want to, that's fine too. Hit subscribe. Keep enjoying. Um, I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great day. Figures right in the middle of the presentation. My batteries die in the flashlight. Change them out for the rechargeables. Now everyone's going to be like, oh, the flashlight's terrible because it doesn't work. Oh, look at that. It's just a rechargeable battery. 20 comments just in that.